Okay, in this video we're going to make a little guessing game. So we've got to guess the number between 1 and 10. So if we enter the value in the message box, click the button, we get given a message. So this case has told me it's too low, so I'm going to try something higher. We're also too high, so let's try something below. 5, still too low. Let's try 6. And then it tells us you've guessed correctly. Now if we look at how some of the code has been created, when the main form loads up, we create a random number generator, we randomize the numbers that are created, and then we generate a random number that is between 1 and less than 11. It uses whole numbers here, and it's exclusive, so the 11 doesn't count, so it actually would only use 10. And we store that in a variable we made called answer, which we've put right at the top, the top here, because it's a variable that is basically local to this entire class. But we need, because we need to be able to use it in this function and this, we can't just write in one of these because they will be deleted as soon as that function finishes. So we have this variable here, so that it can be accessed both in this subroutine or function and this sub function or subroutine. Then we go on and basically have a variable that stores the guess as an integer. And then we need to convert whatever is written on the text box into an integer. So we use the convert library dot its function to int32, which makes a 32-bit integer. Gets whatever is written in the text box and whatever the te dot text that gets the text there and stores that in the guess. Then we go through and use an if statement to compare if the guess is equal to answer, then we print out a message saying they guess correctly. Otherwise, if the guess is less than the answer, then we print out a message saying they're too low. Otherwise, if the guess was too high, then we print out a message saying they guess too high. And that pretty much is this entire program. So now let's go ahead and code it. So I've set up a basic form with a label with our instructions, a text box, and a button. The text box I've renamed to txt underscore answer box and the button I've renamed to make a guess. Or sorry, BN, btn underscore check guess. Now we want to go and add our code on. So this time I'm just going to double click on the form and I'm now actually adding code onto the main form. The first thing I want to do is create this global variable. This variable that's basically local variable that's applied can be accessed any time anywhere in the class. So I'm going to dim an answer as an integer. And now I need to basically be able to generate my random number. But first I need to create a random number generator. So I'm going to declare the random number generator. Dim rand is assigned to new random, creates the new random number generator, and we want to randomize it. This is a generic function that basically sets out different numbers based on a bit of the time clock that's running behind the scenes in the computer. Otherwise you might end up not getting entirely, well, as random numbers as you can. There's no such thing as an entirely random number using computers. Answer is assigned to rand.next. Now open bracket, we get, we've got this one of three, we've got three different options, this is called overriding. So we've got three different versions of this next. We can have just one that gets any random number, so it's, that's non-negative, one that has a maximum value, or one that has a minimum and a maximum. We're going to use this one because I want something between 1 and 11. Note that the second part is exclusive, so it doesn't count this 11 as part of the range. Now I'm going to go back to a random number guesser, and we're going to add some code onto this make a guess. Just to start with, we're just going to check that the random number generator is working properly. So I'm going to create a message box, and then just display the answer. So let's start that and see how it goes. So I'm just going to click the make a guess, and it told me this time it chose number 10. 
if I rerun the program, we should get a different number. So now we can tell that that's working. So now I can get rid of that line of code, or just comment it out with the apostrophe. Now we need to check if the answer is correct. So I need to make a place to store my guess. Term guess as integer. Guess is assigned to. Now this is where we need to. We could. Often, if it was just writing text, we could use just get the information straight away. But we need to, to convert it to an integer. So we're going to use convert dot to int 32. And this is a function, so it's got brackets, and we're going to give it whatever was typed in that box and convert that into a number. Now we need our if statement. So if guess is equal to answer, then we're going to tell them they got it correct. So if we run this, put 5 in, it's not doing anything if we get it wrong. So and we run our way through these. Now, we're not very useful if we're not giving any feedback. So we want to go else if guess is less than answer. It's too low. Else if guess is more than answer. Too high. Now if we run this we should be getting, like in the example, all the feedback we need. Too low. Still too high. Let's try six. Sometimes so hopefully should get a five. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial on how to basically generate random numbers and manipulate them and work out whether they're too low, too high.